this guy can't celebrate enough. Honestly, there's no such thing as too much celebration, especially in a case as important as this one. After winning the defamation case against Amber Heard, Johnny Depp decided to get down to Flavortown where he dropped a massive $87,000 on a post-trial win dinner. Stay tuned to find out more. First up, keep calm and curry on. What says happiness better than a spicy, flavorful curry? The actor, who is most known for his role as Captain Jack Sparrow in the blockbuster film series Pirates of the Caribbean, celebrated his win by bringing musician friend and guitarist Jeff Beck and 20 other friends to an elaborate Indian meal at Varanasi Restaurant in Birmingham, England. Depp has been in the UK since before the judgment, performing with Jeff Beck. On Sunday evening, the actor spent almost 87k on a celebration Indian supper with his buddies. According to reports, Depp and company ordered butter chicken, chicken tikka, paneer tikka, masala, lamb kahari, tandoori king prawns, curry, shish kebabs, cheesecake, cocktails, and rosé champagne. They sure had worked up an appetite. There's always room for dessert though, and they decided to seal the deal with a decadent cheesecake and panna cotta. The actor was described as a very lovely down-to-earth guy by the curry house staff. According to the source, the restaurant, which covers over 20,000 feet, was closed so that Depp and his pals could eat in privacy. According to Mohammed Hussein, the operations director at Varanasi restaurant, they received a call out of the blue on Sunday afternoon indicating that Johnny Depp wanted to come to eat with a group of individuals. They initially thought someone was playing a practical joke on them. We'd all think that, right? But then, his security crew arrived and inspected the restaurant. Depp and his crew were then given complete access to the restaurant, since the owners were concerned that he'd be disturbed by other guests. Next, we had some good vibes all night. Johnny Depp has been in the United Kingdom to support Jeff Beck on his current tour. He even joined the guitarist on stage at a few of his gigs, including one at the Royal Albert Hall in London late last month. The father of two flew to Birmingham to join Beck on stage at the city's Symphony Hall for his gig. By 7 p.m., Depp and his crew had arrived at the hip cafe and posed for selfies with fans along the way. You'd never guess he was such a big star from his appearance, and he made sure to give a lot of time to everyone present there. Hussein also indicated that he didn't want to reveal the entire bill amount, but that money was no issue, and it was easily in the five digits. The restaurant made more money as a result of Depp's visit than they would on their busiest night of the week, which is usually Saturday with roughly 400 guests. Hussein then described the night's most surprising incident when Depp requested a 20-minute break from everyone and sat with him in his office. According to Hussein, the A-lister wanted to use the CCTV cameras in his office to people watch and learn more about how they worked. Y'all don't find that a little bizarre? Thankfully, Hussein didn't inquire about the court case with Depp. He said it was just a pleasant exchange with a modest gentleman, something he'd never imagined. Honestly, who'd think Depp would be in their office discussing the workings of a CCTV camera? Not us. Having him there was a true honor for the restaurant owners, and we can imagine their sales will be up for weeks to come. So good luck getting a reservation at Varanasi. And now, celebrating or just because? According to sources, Depp wasn't celebrating winning the case. Instead, he was having a chilled out dinner, away from the hustle and bustle, with his closest friends. Although the restaurant would not reveal the precise sum spent by Depp, Hussein told The Independent that hiring out an entire restaurant of Varanasi's size generally costs between 15,000 pounds and 20,000 pounds. Along with the whole food, the group was provided lots of booze, and Depp didn't shy away from generously tipping the employees. When people come across celebrities, they're hit with the realization that they're human, like all of us. If you're lucky, they'll be kind to you, and Johnny Depp was exactly that, humble, down-to-earth, and warm. When Hussein was asked about the meeting and serving Depp, he said how there wasn't a single person he didn't talk to or hold in his arms. Hussein went on to say that the Varanasi personnel had a once-in-a-lifetime chance of meeting the superstar that they will remember for the rest of their lives. This much-needed outing follows a highly publicized six-week trial, which began after Depp sued Heard over a 2018 Washington Post. Despite the fact that the piece does not name Depp, his lawyers claim that it wrongly implies that he physically and sexually mistreated the Aquaman actor throughout their relationship. Following the verdict, Depp expressed gratitude to the jury for giving him his life back in an apparent attempt to make a return to Hollywood. Meanwhile, Heard, who was given two million US dollars for one part of her counterclaim, said in a statement that she was disappointed beyond words and that the ruling constituted a setback for women across the globe. But Johnny Depp is busy living the good life, seen on tour with British singer Jeff Beck before the decision was even read, starting in Sheffield when an unsuspecting crowd was treated to a surprise appearance by the Pirates of the Caribbean hero. Depp's presence was enjoyed by the predominantly male audience at the Sheffield City Hall before he was spotted at the Indian restaurant. 
restaurant. Time for some other related news, starting with Depp to waive charges on Amber. After his victory in the highly publicized defamation case, Johnny Depp's lawyer argues that he may not collect the $10.4 million in damages from his ex-wife Amber Heard. Ben Chu and Camille Vasquez, the Pirates of the Caribbean star's lawyers, hinted on Wednesday on Good Morning America that the actor may forego the settlement. George Stephanopoulos, the show's host, discussed with the lawyers the Aquaman star's fears of becoming broke after paying Depp. Depp's lawyers revealed that it was never about the money for him, it was about his reputation. On the show, Chu commented, it was a total win for Johnny. Heard, on the other hand, was granted $2 million in compensatory damages after winning only one of her three defamation suits against Depp. On NBC's Today Show, Heard's lawyer Elaine Bredehoft was asked if her client will be able to pay up. Guess what his answer was? Absolutely not. Not a great sign, eh? And now, there's a new TikToker on the block. As he posted his debut TikTok video on Tuesday, Johnny Depp received a flood of praise and love from followers. In the short clip, he can be seen thanking his fans for their unwavering support. The Pirates of the Caribbean star's first post includes footage of fans applauding, holding signs, and waving at him. Videos of the actor writing and singing songs on stage were also included. What was the soundtrack to his TikTok, you ask? Stranger by Lovejoys. Talk about being a viral hit. Shortly after joining TikTok on Monday, Depp has gotten over 10 million followers. Next, a snub by Billie Eilish. Someone writing songs about you is so romantic, isn't it? Well, not always. Billie Eilish, who is currently on a world tour for her second album in the UK, has made a reference to Johnny Depp's defamation lawsuit against his ex-wife Amber Heard in a new song she sang to fans during her UK tour. On Tuesday, the 20-year-old singer premiered a new song called TV during a performance in Manchester's AO Arena. The song, which has yet to be released, is a quiet, sorrowful piece with lyrics that allude to the shocking Depp vs. Heard trial, which ended last week. The lyrics go, The internet is going crazy watching Hollywood stars on trial while they're overturning Roe v. Wade. Referencing the shift in people's priorities, Eilish sang from a seat next to her brother and collaborator Phineas, who was playing the acoustic guitar. The social media trial of these two stars was all people talked about for weeks, while much bigger issues didn't get the same kind of traction. It's sad, really. And finally, Depp to return on screen. The upcoming project has been confirmed to be a drug documentary called Boston George, which will premiere on Fandor on July 22nd. The film will follow the life of George Jacob Young, a cocaine trafficker and smuggler who was played by Depp in the 2001 film Blow. The five-part documentary, produced by Georgette Angelos and Chris Chesson and directed by Clint Choate, will reveal the Hollywood A interviews. Depp labeled the smuggler as one of his favorite guys and a very lovely outlaw, according to the IMDb page for the series. Meanwhile, Depp has a packed calendar ahead of him following his victory over his ex-wife in the blockbuster case, which includes a collaboration with Jeff Beck and a possible role in the Beetlejuice sequel. Depp is also set to be back on Pirates of the Caribbean. Happy days! That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about that massive dinner bill, a post-win celebration, or just another day in the life of a superstar? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.